found the road to nowhere And I'm trying to escape Six feet from the edge And I'm thinking Maybe six feet Ain't so far down I'm looking down On all of my mistakes I thought I found the road To somewhere Somewhere in his grace I cried out Heaven save me But I'm down to one last breath And will it let me say Let me say We're about to read the, some of his journals from English. These were daily journals. Uh, Mr. Thibodeau would give us a topic and we'll just write about them. So, uh, this topic is, if the house were on fire and I could only grab two things, I, I would have to grab my money and my desk so that I would not lose a lot of money. The main reason I would take my money is that I would need something to replace my burned items. The second thing I would grab would be a trash bag that would contain every photo album my family owns. These photos are not easy to replace, if not impossible to replace. My mother would be very upset if her vacation photos were to be destroyed because they are all she has left of some family members. There would be no more memories of my uncle. Six feet from the edge and I'm thinking Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a side flip on a trampoline. First, you need a trampoline. Please come now, I think I'm falling, holding on to all I think is safe. Okay, 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 first off, let's hook off. Okay, so we were in a computer and he like, I don't know, I was just going to sit down and he would always like mess with me to pull out the chair, but I never actually thought he was going to do it or I would just like see it and just sit down. But like one day he actually pulled it out and it was such a slow motion, but I just like, Hit the floor and then I look up and the rest of the class is just like like you just you're on the floor. <laughs> you just fell. Oh my god. We went to the zoo and I'm like, okay, like this part or whatever your profile or whatever. Well he takes this picture and it's like right here and it's on his computer. I was like, that's ugly mark. He's like, really? I'm gonna set it as my wallpaper. Like I look over and there's like 30 memes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is horrid and like <laughs> That you wouldn't expect anyone to say, like, I'll make like a dumb comment and he would somehow like turn it around to make me look stupid. Yeah. Boy, yeah. That just made myself look dumb. Like, I'll get his. <laughs> 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 just made a dumb comment. <laughs> but if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes, like French fries, he throw them at you, Annie. Like, he would just 
god. We always throw food at you. That, I'll always want his food, always. Or whenever Miss Annette started working and then, and she had to switch his days and started complaining. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. like, yeah. she's still like, picking mom food. food. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else's mom brings him food. Mark, Mark got like muffins and coffee in bed like every morning. He came back and was like, yeah, well, I brought me breakfast in bed. I was like, in bed. Like, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Right? It was we asked her about it when we went yeah. there. Yeah. He was like, oh yeah, every morning. He oh, has yeah. to have it in bed. It's like, after school, I have a meal, and then whatever, and then I have dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Great clouds roll over the hills, bringing darkness for ball. But if you close your eyes, does it almost I love, okay, I was going through my pictures, like, all the those pictures, and, like, it's always all the girls and Mark. Yeah. Like, I got some, because everyone's like, he like, just hopped, the girls to be yeah, like, I, like, <laughs> I miss, like, at senior lunches, he was just like, y'all look nice today. <laughs> oh, where do we begin? stop motion thing and we were like on the playground and we had to like climb up and do stuff well he was the only one who could do like floor course stuff so he was like like i had to do like they had to take pictures of all of us and he had already done his little thing he was like well all you have to do and he was like flipping around like the part of like the <laughs> swing set i was like mark i cannot like jump like i'm not <laughs> I to flip over a pole like i can't do this He's like, it's easy, you just do like a whatever it's called, and like Ron has three was just like, no, like nobody knows <laughs> what I'm not doing. And freshman year in world geography, when it was like us three, we sat in a little L and we were all planning like how you were gonna take his kayak and flip it over in the Mississippi. Oh my there. gosh, his kayaks. Yes, I understand that every life must be end. Uh -huh. As we sit alone, I know someday we must go. Uh -huh. Y'all, the funniest thing was in Bible. Like, has Alex ever told the story about how him and Mark would get into it about a fishing license? Yeah. Yes, because okay. oh. Mark's like, you have to have it. Now it's like, no, you don't. <laughs> like, it was the biggest. It went on for like an hour. Like, they got so heated and into it. Mark was like, it went on for so long. In the end, they were both right, like, different ways. But he yeah. was so, like, adamant about telling, like, like, whenever him and Alex argue, it's the it's so biggest argument. It's literally like anything you can think of, he knows like the right answer, mm -hmm. or like he thought he knew the right he answer. He has to be right. Or had like. Oh. Oh. Practice I'm going to miss watching you and Mark fight Bible class <laughs> <laughs> every single day. Yeah, Before. that's the thing that most people remember most about me and Mark. Uh, <laughs> this especially, especially seventh hour Bible, we'd fight almost every single day. Half half the class, Coach Bob would give a devotion, and the second half, we'd do whatever we wanted. And then uh, Mark would say some stupid comment, and then he would have <laughs> to be right. <laughs> and then <laughs> me and Mark, uh, our two personalities, we can't be wrong, neither of us. <laughs> no, we would just fight forever and ever. And then uh, most people thought that we hated each other, but. Uh, it's just who we are, it's how we get along. Everything except for history and English, he loved. Yeah. 
Like, he would have been, like, he would have been amazing anything. Yeah. This. Yeah. Like, you had a little flippy thing he would do. He'd, like, flip yeah. it around. Yeah. Like, like, it was, like, a thing. nervous habit. No, he was just, like, he was flicking. I was, like, yeah, like, yeah he like, would. Like, like, the gel type Yeah, no. I tried, I tried to get him to teach me how to do it. Like, he never would. I was, like, Mark, just show me how to, like, flip my pin. I can't do it. He's, like, no, Nicole, I know how to do this. And I'm the only one. I was, like, Mark, just show me how to flip my pin. No knows this more than me. I come cleaner Son in seventh grade. <laughs> 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 here we are, here we are. Every day at football, he would give me a bloody lip because he would hit me in the chin. Every day, and every day I got madder and madder at him. <laughs> and it correlated in school a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, and every time I tried to get him back, my lip got bloody again. <laughs> probably middle school, me, Caleb, Mark, and Joseph went to, uh, went to your house, and we were in Mark's room, <laughs> and you, uh, you made us some, uh, purple Kool-Aid, and you brought it to us in Mark's room, and you, you specified, you said, all right, boys, now, uh, y'all be careful with this, it's gonna stain. <laughs> so you saw, you saw a tall glass of it, the second you walked out of the room, <laughs> I knocked the glass over and it went all over the white carpet. You came in and you were pissed. Man, I, I, don't, I don't see you mad often, but you must really care for that carpet. <laughs> Most about Mark is probably all his comments about everything. Now you'd say something, you'd be like, "No, actually, it goes like this." <laughs> oh my God! And you'd be like, "Mark, where'd you hear that?" Oh, I read it on the internet. <laughs> or you'd like watch a YouTube video about it. Didn't you say like half the stuff on the internet's wrong? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you can't believe everything on the internet. Most stuff on the internet is wrong. <laughs> As much as I tried to copy his physics homework, he would not let me. <laughs> we, one time I got in an argument, the whole class period in computer, and oh like gosh. right when the bell rang, he was like, see, if you would have done it, you would have been finished now. <laughs> like, screw you, Mark. <laughs> so, I think the best thing about him in school was the calculus test. You go and you'd be like, Mark, how's the calculus test? Easy. You get to it, it's like freaking gibberish. <laughs> and, and we'd ask, we'd ask the coach who got the highest gear ball, like, oh yeah, it's Mark. <laughs> when you are with me, I'm free, I'm careless, I believe, above all the others, will fly, when this brings tears to my for my two best friends going into the sixth grade, seventh grade when I first came to Westminster. And 
I remember going to uh, Mark's house and he was helping me with a science project, seventh grade science fair project, I think that's what it was. And he was telling me how he was going to Duke for some, <laughs> one some <laughs> trip, he was, and he, he said he was flying alone. He was the only person that went. I was he like, flying alone? Went. We're in the seventh grade <laughs> right. from my first being there all the way. I mean, he's just a great friend. Oh, you can never get dating advice from him. No. Yeah. It was some. Every time I was like, what should I do? He'll give you some off the wall. Uh, he, had, yes. he had a lot of dating advice. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't good. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side this journal is called my last high school homecoming was dot 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 for my last homecoming dance I decided to ask a lady to go with me I actually enjoyed this dance because I had a pretty cool date I'm glad we will never have homecoming dance again the worst part of the dance is the music the music was so bad, no one was dancing. Eventually, we started dancing, which made the night better. My date was a good dancer and a very good date. I consider myself lucky for having the best looking day of the dance. My heart fear will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I... One of the funniest things I've seen is when he, uh, his plan to ask Jenna out to prom was with a magic trick. And he went to do it in front of everyone and he messed it up. Oh, his face got so red. I, I felt bad for him, but he got it. He got it sex And I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine. When all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine, yeah. I can only imagine. Showing me a bunch of part four videos of how doing flips all building. He's like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do this. And it's like, I'm going to start practicing. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? You're gonna hurt yourself. He's like, I don't care. I mean, it, he was just so brave and so relentless. I mean, the bike in the neighborhood and we were riding all around Opelousas and it started pouring down raining on us and we just started trucking it back to the to the house and um <laughs> Miss Annette was waiting for us with towels we called her told her that we were on our way back and she would always cook for us and we would always get ready over there for uh, eighth grade baseball games my, uh, my dad would pick us me and Mark and Alex up and Daniel uh, we'd always get ready at Mark's house because it was right in the middle and everyone would meet up there um, I would hate him being on the opposite team of me because yeah. I wasn't really putting all for effort, full effort, and then all of a sudden here comes Mark. Recording.
going. All right. Well, hey, look over. Yeah. Okay. So go. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Go. Butterfly twist. Give me all wet. I did get you wet. My bad. Now, this is the. This is this one's more in the tr process. It's called a rise. It's, it's more more like I can't do this. So first we're gonna do another one. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you. So I'm gonna do. I'm more. videoing. Two more. Here we go. The thing I am thankful for, the main thing I am thankful for is Cajun X Cable. This is a wakeboarding cable park in Scott, Louisiana. Hopefully I get to spend more time with my grandparents who are very old now. I am also thankful for my family. The message Mr. Thibodeau left to Mark when he was done grading his journals. It's kind of like a like a farewell he had to Mark. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. You're a very interesting guy and I wish I had gotten to know you sooner. I'll miss you. Keep in touch. I will be praying for you. Remember what you have learned here. You are special in Christ. <laughs>